All right, Fun Nation, welcome back to another edition of Behind the Bumpers. Today, I'm here at the FIM District Belleville event with Team 4405, the Adams Family. My name is E. Lockman, and I'm here with the defending Michigan State Championships to talk about their excellent deep climb. This thing is really freaking cool, and it caught my eye as soon as I walked into the event. And we're also going to talk about their very smooth coral and elevator transition, as well as everything else that goes into this awesome machine. So we'll hear about all this and more coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. All right, hello, my name is Luke. I'm the electrical captain and the driver for 4405. So I'm gonna walk through our Aldi system and our climbing system. So. For our Aldi system, we were really inspired by Cranberry Alarm, their robot in three days. So we decided we wanted to put our Aldi mechanism onto the elevator so that we could efficiently reach up and dealtify both the high and low Aldi. So we decided to go with chain gear for our uh, Neo. This is something like a 68 to 12 reduction on top of a 36 to one. So it rotates our whole mechanism here. So when the elevator goes up, this is attached, so everything just goes up with it. This allows us to get high algae, low algae. We're having some trouble with this system keeping the algae in. So usually what we've been doing is just taking the algae off the reef, turning and spitting out the algae. Though we have gotten this to work with the processor sometimes. Because the way we also mounted it like um, kind of low here, we're able to get a ground intake when we just rotate this out. Awesome. All right, now talk about this really epic climber. Yes, the climbers. This thing is really awesome. Yes, so these climbers, we were loosely inspired by the Thunder Stamps of 2022, Team 4907, with their amazing traversal to slam down on the ground and grab the top bar. So we decided to go with a similar-ish system where we push down on the ground with screws, and then we have latches that will grab the cage as it comes up. So, with the climbers, these are way taller than they need to be because we originally had these latches way lower on the base plate. So we would climb up around six inches and then latch onto the cage and then come back down. However, we found out we were violating, I believe, R405. yes, rule R405, which says that the bumpers have to stay within the bumper zone as long as the bottom of the robot is um, effectively on the ground. So when we climbed, we extended the bottom of our robot so that turned out to be illegal. So we made some quick modifications during the competition today. We raised the latches, we limited the amount we could climb through software, and we haven't gotten any penalties on our climbs today. That's really cool. Now, let's see this thing in action, because this thing is awesome. All right, next up we've got Jack to talk about their very smooth coral arm and elevator yeah. transition. So let's see it. Uh, uh, so our coral arm, we uh, decided to go with a funnel to better be able to get our uh, coral into a robot. So uh, this allows us to like go up to the, uh, be pretty fast at the coral station as opposed to like waiting forever for it to reach your arm. We also had to, because the cage goes into the middle of our robot, we had to have our arm kind of like rotate up and out of the way. So that was also a design consideration. And then uh, we have a bunch of priests. James, want to go through the pre presets? We can go through that. So uh, this is our L4 preset. Our uh, arm motor is on 100 to 1 reduction. We just wanted to be really precise with it. And we were having issues with like a 20 to 1, so we went with that. Plus a 3D printed gear up top, and uh, then like a 39 tooth uh, pulley. Sorry, not gear, pulley. And then 39 tooth below. And then our elevator itself is on a 20 to one, which allows us to be pretty fast with it. We decided to go with a two stage, uh, our one stage elevator, as opposed to a two stage, because uh, as Jenny can show you, we got our 
our L3 and L2 positions, we don't have to actuate up and down at all, so it, it's, it simplifies the process of scoring algae. Very interesting. So talk to me about this intake. Yeah, uh, so we were looking at some RI3D teams, or early earlier teams, and a lot. some team had something similar to this. We thought it looks pretty good. So uh, we went with that, and then we were uh, added these two metal panels here and here to kind of funnel that coal in as it crosses over like this empty area below the below the end of the funnel. Right now the funnel's broken, so we're working on fixing it, but uh, awesome. you get the general idea. Cool. Next up, we've got Jaden to talk about the awesome software that goes into this robot. All Take right. it away. Uh, so yeah, I'm software captain for this team. Uh, right now we have uh, a really good Auton, a three uh, coral Auton so far. Um, so we're, we're using Path Planner to plan all that stuff out. Uh, let me take a look here. Uh, uh, so yeah, we have a three coral auton. Uh, very accurate. We actually only had one day to get this done. Uh, and after after that one uh, day, we, we tested it a few times and we were able to get it uh, pretty dialed in uh, for this competition. Awesome. Uh, one of the reasons we're so accurate is uh, just our cameras all over our robot. Uh, you can see on the front uh, swerve modules, uh, on our robot, you can see two cameras mounted there. And then on the back near our coral intake, we also have uh, two more mounted there, a little bit higher up on the robot. Uh, and those uh, scan the April tags along the field, uh, allowing us to kind of like uh, figure out our position on the field with very, very, ac like really good accuracy, uh, millimeter precision almost. So um, definitely a big plus when we're working with uh, very, uh, uh, specific position, specific placement positions for where we want to uh, deposit our coral on the branches. So, Awesome. So tell us about some of the other sensors that are on this robot too. Uh, so yeah, we have some uh, sensors to detect our uh, coral up here uh, in our coral hand and we have one for our algae arm. So in this, uh, this coral here, uh, it allows us to know when we're, when we're loaded fully, uh, which is really helpful in software because uh, we can just uh, have a have a state uh, that allows us to uh, just determine uh, if we should intake more or intake less, or how to just position the coral in that actual intake uh, hand here, uh, and it lets us know when we deposit it to, so uh, that the auton can continue on uh, uh, with very little very little delay, waiting for stuff to come out and stuff with manual like delays. Awesome. All right, Fun Nation, this has been another edition of Behind the Bumpers with Team 4405, the Adams family. Thank you so much to Jack, Luke, and Jaden for all their awesome work here today with this amazing robot and that super cool deep cage climb. So we'll see if these guys can add a yet another Michigan State Championship winner banner to their collection this season, and we will catch you guys in the next edition of Behind the Bumpers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interests, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at Kettering.edu slash first.